okay. Woo! Oh my lord. Oh, look how much product just went on my face. I'm just gonna press. Oh, shit. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me already, my name is Samantha B Vlogs, and today we're doing something I have not done yet with you guys. I'm doing my makeup, but I'm not just doing my makeup in general. I'm going to be using the Tati Blendiful today, which I got in the mail maybe like a week ago. And I haven't opened it because I wanted to try it out in front of the camera to get my first reaction. I've watched so many reviews on it, completely in love with it by the end of Laura Lee's review. I think I watched many MUAs as well. I've only done vlogs and just regular makeup videos that I just... I've never tried other people's products before, so I'm super excited to try that out for you guys today. Also, never tried any beauty blenders in general, so this is gonna be a little interesting for me. I've only used brushes. I actually went to school for makeup, if you did not know already. I went to New York City for six months and went to a program that tried to open it. But I went to a program that taught uh, beauty makeup as well as special effects makeup and I graduated in August of 2019. I am officially a professional makeup artist, although I don't feel like it because I haven't really been doing anything professionally. I haven't had any clients. I just do makeup on myself still. Unfortunately, I don't have all the products that I wish I had, but I do have some products that I have on the regular that I use. Nothing high-end necessarily. Don't have the moolah for that right now. Still have a part-time job and I am located now in North Carolina. Life's been kind of crazy. Lots of changes. I am currently 20 weeks pregnant. There's going to be a video on my YouTube channel of any questions on what you'd like to know about my pregnancy, how it's going, questions in general, if you have just a curiosity for the whole thing. I will be answering all those questions in that YouTube video very soon. We're gonna get some makeup on our face. Never had a bare face in front of anyone on this YouTube channel yet, so. And I'd like to say this is the clearest that it's looked so this is not my natural hair kind of played around with it today and it now looks like a poodle or Shirley Temple so and we're gonna get into this video <laughs> it comes in a little in a little blendiful bag that's so cute it has instructions on how to clean it as well as her little note over here no harsh lines XO's potty I'm excited let's get into it and I forgot we have two in here. There's two for the price of $18, which is absolutely crazy. They're so adorable. The little powder puff, and it's a little firmer and not as bendy, but it definitely is really bendy. Kind of smells like nail polish. Oh, that's really weird. And then this big one. And they're so soft, oh. I could do this for hours. I love the fabric on this. I love the shape of it. It's super bendy. First thing we're gonna do is clean our face. And then we're gonna get into foundation and powders and creams. All right, cool. Literally just go in with micellar water. Wipe all the excess dirt that was extra on my face. Even after cleaning your face, the cotton round is still dirty. It's crazy. I have terrible primer right now. So this is don't. I'm not gonna show you what I have. Serum, that's for all of the red spots that I have that appeared very nicely after I used my micellar water. We gotta clip these hairs back, hold on. On my face, these are all scars from my acne. And I smacked my face. Definitely don't have the best serum in the world either, but it works for me right now. I have the Sephora brand serum with C and E vitamins, and I smack my face for a reason, I promise. I'm gonna look it up because I always forget, and right now I have the worst memory because I'm pregnant, so bear with me on my knowledge. It's for plumper, plumper? It's for plumper looking skin, smaller pores, and reduced appearance of wrinkles, too and better. Blood circulation, face shaping can help you in many ways, activating the muscles in the region and boosting the of blood flow gives you supple skin as it stimulates the production of collagen there you go I'm going to put on some moisturizer and the moisturizer I use right now is definitely not what I would want to use for forever so I don't necessarily want to show you that one either 
we're going to go in with my foundation. I use the Tarte, the Tarte face tape. This is the only like buildable full coverage foundation that I can match to on my face right now. And I'm super nervous. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it on my face for half of the face. And then for the other side, I'll put it on it. And apparently you're supposed to wipe it across your face. It looks really smooth and it blended really well. Man, but I feel like I need more coverage. But honestly, that's the amount of coverage that I usually have. But it blended out pretty nicely. How close it is to, to my color. I'm gonna put a little bit more on and we're gonna blend it out. There's like literally nothing on the sponge right now. Better than dragging. With this foundation, patting in that certain area right below my nose. See, now it's covering. Okay. A good amount on there. Okay. Woo! Oh my lord, nice and cold. And oh, look how much product just went on my face. Oh my gosh. There's still so much product on the sponge and on my face right now. And I need to spread it everywhere. Holy. I'm having trouble getting underneath my nose. That just is me. So I definitely like this side better than this side because I put it on my sponge first. Maybe like two pumps. You can kind of see the bristles when I drag. So I'm just patting it in and my nose needs help. It's not taking any of the foundation right now with this. We're gonna move on to powder and I always need translucent powder because I am pale. I'm just gonna press. Oh shit. There is a ton of product on my face. This doesn't take up a lot of product. Oh lord. Barely anything on this right now. Am I am I supposed to drag this? Oh. Oh. Oh, that is so much faster. This is my powder side. When I dragged it, it took a little bit of my foundation. I'm gonna move on to my bronzer. Don't have the correct color for my bronzer because I'm pale. Way too much. Ho oh, ho ho ho. And it looks how dark this is. Not for my face, but we're gonna blend it out. This is kind of helpful because I can feel where my cheekbone is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just gonna blend upwards. And it's not blend it's not blending. <laughs> okay, we're gonna cheat. We're cheating. See how better how much better that looks? I'm cheating again. I can't blend it out very well. Let's just blend that in. Ooh, baby. I like how it sweeps. It's a clean sweep. Blending it up. Again, is it taking the product? Yes. And this is taking some product. But we're gonna use some powder and we're gonna bake. We're gonna take the smaller one. I'm taking a ton of product. Probably should have done it on the corner, but we didn't do it, so. I'm so pale that you can barely see that. Right here. And that was beautiful. And I didn't use all the product on here. And it did take some of my product still. I'm gonna go ahead off camera and do my eyes and my eyebrows and be right back. So all together, I think the Blendiful was definitely a cool product. I'm not sure I would really want to use it on a daily basis. With a brush that I use, I can get it to the same consistency and same coverage. It is faster, honestly, with my brush right now, but that's also because I've never used something like this. Still getting used to it, and I was trying to figure it out. So maybe in the future, I will be able to do it faster this way if the blending this way works, as well as blending is so hard for me. And it's called the Blendiful. <laughs> Such a great name though. It did stay somewhat clean for both of them. Thanks for watching guys. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit the bell so that you know when I post. I don't have a set date right now of when I do post and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Here we go. I am a dang poodle. Sasha. We're gonna get first thing. Uh, mm. Look.
like that behind the ear. No makeup on the, oh gosh. Let's untuck that. Jesus, that looks so bad. <laughs> what? Orange juice, pour out the cotton, gray goose, pour get it started. 